Hello investors, welcome back to Invest Money UAE. Today's video is the first video about the basics of the stock market. It is for those who want to understand what stock market is and how it operates. Even if you know what stock market is, you can still watch this video as you will learn interesting concepts and facts about stock market. And that too in very simple and easy to understand language. So next time when anyone come in contact with you and ask about stock market, you will be able to explain them as well. So we will be covering what stock market is, how it operates, what does exchange and indices means and which one to follow. So let's get started. So let's understand what is stock market with an example of farmers market. What happens there is farmers who grow vegetable bring some portion of their produced quantity to sell in that market. So farmers offer marginal selling price and the people who want to consume those vegetables directly can buy them or some middlemen can buy them and resell it further for higher profit. So now as the quantity in the market is limited, hence depending upon the type, demand and quality, the price of vegetables keeps on changing. So similarly, stock market is also an auction market where company owners are like farmer and they are producing profit by running the company. They are selling company share that is a pie of their profit in return to raise money from the public. People like you and me and qualified institutions are the buyers in this market. Either we can buy and hold these shares for self or we can resell them for a higher profit when price goes up. Depending on company's profit, year on year growth, how much that company is in news or in demand and what's the value of the share with comparison to its peer companies. All these factors make share price of a company fluctuates. Not just company shares, you can buy commodities like gold, silver or crude oil or funds like ETF or mutual funds etc. from the stock market. Now remember when farmers came to market to sell their vegetables on a marginal selling price. This is similar to a company's IPO that's initial public offering where only retail investors and qualified institutions can participate and buy these shares and later on the listing day public can decide the share price of that company that means it will start trading on the exchange from that day and public can buy and sell their share from exchange houses if you have thousand share which you bought in ipo at two theorems and on the listing day or later you want to sell all of them at a profit of 50 fills then you have to place an order on exchange and if you get a buyer who is ready to buy these stocks at your price, then deal done. All these transactions happen on exchange houses, which is similar to a marketplace where farmers went to sell their vegetables. So in India, we have two stock exchanges. One is National Stock Exchange, NSC, and other one is Bombay Stock Exchange, which is BSC. And in UAE, we have two regulated stock exchanges. One is Abu Dhabi Exchange, that is ADX, and other one is Dubai Financial Markets, which is DVFM. And this was the answer to our second question. What are exchanges and what does ADX and DFM mean in UAE? These exchanges are responsible for issuing investor number to the investors, giving license to brokers, managing and regulating trades happening daily and helping companies to apply for IPO and many more. Now, if you want to start investing in stock market, you need a national investor number in UAE, which each exchange issues differently but you can go with registered brokers they will apply for both the exchanges for you and it's totally free to apply for national investor number you can register with any of the broker like alrams international security or bhm capital which has less commission with compared to the bank related securities now let's move on to next question what are indices and which one to track for adx and dfm so friends, generally to track performance of companies listed on ADX and DFM exchange, these exchanges uses various index which includes companies from different sectors like healthcare, finance, real estate, uh, consumer goods, energy, etc. Abu Dhabi mainly has FADGI that is Abu Dhabi General Index and DFM mainly has DFMGI which is Dubai Financial Market General Index. There are other indices as well for different sectors like healthcare index, finance index, real estate index, energy index, etc. And all these index we will discuss in a separate video. Let's focus on understanding 
FADGI and DFMGI. As per the sources from ADX website published on March 2024, FADGI comprises of 72 companies from different sectors in UAE. The top 10 companies which has weightage of 83.84% in FADGI are as follows. IHC, International Holding Company, 47.54%. First Abu Dhabi Bank, 9.46%. Etisalat, 8.93% ADIB Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank 3.39% ADCB Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank 3.39% Alpha Dhabi 3.01% Aldar Properties 2.85% Abu Dhabi National Energy Company 2.31% Multiply 1.48% Adnock Distributions 1.48% And if you check sector wise for these top 10 companies Diversified financial sectors have 49.02% in total Banking sector have 16.24% Telecom sector 8.93% Industrial sector 3.01% Real estate sector 2.85% Multi utility sector 2.31% and from oil refineries and marketing 1.48%. Let's check about DFMGI. DFMGI comprises of 39 companies out of which top 10 companies has weightage of 72.95% which are as follows. DIB Dubai Islamic Bank 10%, Imar 10%, Deva Dubai Electricity and Water Authority 10%, Air Arabia 8.26%, DIC Dubai Investment Company 7.72%, Imar Dev 7.53%, Salik 6.61%, DU 5.93%, Gulf Navigation 3.68%, Empower 3.22%, and if you check sector wise for these DFM top 10 companies, then real estate and financing and development have 17.53% in total. Transportation sector have 11.94% in total. Utility sector have 10%. Banking sector is 10%. Non-energy mineral is 7.72%. Consumer durable 6.61%. Telecom sector 5.93%. Industrial sector 3.22%. If you want to see the complete list, then links are given in the description. Now you can make more informed decision in building your portfolio. This doesn't mean go and buy shares of these companies. Absolutely no. What I have given you is the shortened list. Instead of tracking more than 100 shares, you can further filter out these stocks based on your analysis. We will also keep on sharing our analysis on this channel. So stay tuned friends and subscribe for channel and join membership so that you will get regular updates. So thank you friends. If you like this video, please share and show your support for the channel. Thank you. Happy investing.